Whoa. Now tell me the experience that Ronnie had when he was uh, a little kid with uh, Papu. Well, that story is very, very different than what I had experienced as a little girl. This happened when Ronnie was seven years old. And he was very, very close to his grandfather, which in Greek, grandfather is called Papu, so he would call him Papu. Um, his grandfather was in the hospital and he passed away unexpectedly this particular evening and he passed away at midnight. So of course Ronnie was asleep. And when my siblings came to tell me that they had gotten a call from the hospital that he had passed away, um, they went to tell my mother about that. I went back and sat in, in my bed and the only thing I kept thinking is now how am I going to tell this little boy that his grandfather passed away? That he was really close. Yeah, to he was very close. It was the typical grandpa with the kid. Grandpa's that son. You, that you see the stories in storybooks. Um, so Obviously, I mean, I sat there in bed till morning, wondering how is he gonna take this? Then at six in the morning, he gets up and our bedroom was kind of in the center where sitting up in bed, I was able to see out the hallway directly. To the right was the doorway, was Ronnie's room and to the left, was your room. So of course, seeing anyone come out the doors, you could see him. Ronnie comes out, out of the room and he's looking up at the molding. And I'm looking like, now, great, he's up, I've got, how am I gonna tell them that his papu died and what is he looking at? And then he turned around and went into your room. And I thought to myself, I mean, you were just over one years old. And I said, you know, he never went into the baby's room without asking me. Mm. He better not wake him up. <laughs> then he came out and he stood in the hall again and he's looking up. And then he turned and looked in his room. And then he turns to me and just ecstatic says, oh, mom, did you see Papu? And I thought, no. And why well, I didn't want to tell him that I've been watching him walk around. And I says, no, I just woke up. What do you mean? And he says, and this is where it was just so touching to me because the detail that he gave me was just amazing. He started out with, well, the noise woke me up. Mm -hmm. It was like a tornado in my room. Oh, wow. But when the smoke cleared, there was Papu. And he was dressed in regular clothes and they sparkled like diamonds. And you know, he's not old anymore. And he described my dad with black hair, and he had never seen a picture of my dad as a young man. Mm -hmm. And he says, you know, he's not wrinkled anymore, and his hands are not wrinkled, they're so smooth. He gave all this detail. And he says, Papu came to say goodbye to me and Mark. <laughs> so I figured when he was looking up, there was some kind of 
mental communication because I didn't hear any kind of talking. Or no tornado sounds. I, no, I didn't hear anything. Hmm. It's like you're out of commission while this is going on or hmm. something. Hmm. Only the ones that are meant to see it, who knows. Right. And he's, so when he said he came to say goodbye to me and Mark, and they went into Mark's room, and then he says, we came back out, so that kind of matched up with him looking up again in the hallway. And he says he wanted, my mom and dad lived with us. We had a bi-level house, so the basement was all fixed up as a complete apartment. Oh. And he said, I want to go downstairs one more time. And he says, I watched the smoke go down my vent. So when Ronnie turned and looked in his room, across where he was looking was the vent. So everything that he explained to me that he had done, it his fits pop the pool, actions of right. what he was telling you, but yeah. he saw the image of yeah. Papu. Though, I didn't see but. anything. I just saw all this stuff he was doing. And then I said, yeah, Papu died last night. And it was like it was taken care of. Well, thank you for telling us about the experience. I know it's kind of a emotional one and maybe this could be a good example of um, maybe what afterlife is. Thank you for joining us with our episode this week and um, next week it's a little bit different. Uh, next week it's going to be the best of Cool's Paranormal.